previously on hack. What's this he tells me about braces? The orthodontist says he's got too many teeth, not enough mouth. How much is it going to cost? About 2200 Jack Sanner, I thought you might be interested in picking up some extra money. I need a driver. Look, I don't want to be driving a man for a couple of months until he gets his license back. OK, you want to be his own little step and fetch it. Go ahead. Don't do it, Mike. It ain't you. Glad you came down. I'll take the job. Violence comes with the territory. It's a need. <laughs> and I feel it. That primitive thing you're on, I got to say no. Hey, at least tell me why. Because I played it dirty once, and I liked it. Mike, taking a little taste from bad guys isn't the same as being a bad guy. Morning, Mike. Coffee? What? Oh, please. Yeah, coffee, please. You sleep good? Oh, yeah, until somebody woke me up. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Spider Man. 
time for you and Spider-Man to get dressed. Five minutes! Ashton. See ya. That worked with my cellars. Every time. You want pancakes or eggs? Oh, come on. This ain't no Holiday Inn. Marcellus. Uh, good morning to you, too. Don't talk to Mike like that. Uh, water main broke on the street. He needed a place to sleep. You sleep? Yeah. Good. Don't get too comfortable, because it's not like you're staying. You want to be ignorant, you do it someplace else. Not in my house. You see that? Her house. No comment. Mm. Smart. Why do you two always act like you don't like each other? When you were partners, it was always Mike this, Marcellus that. I swear, I thought the two of you were going to elope. Yeah, what happened, honey? You made a mistake. You regret it. You are always welcome in this house. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't say it. I didn't say it to IAB. I'm sure not gonna say it to Deborah. Since when do you run? I'm getting in shape. Deborah says I look like Carl Lewis in this. Hun, pancakes? <laughs> no, thanks. Ah, got a big day catching bad guys. Mm. Carl Lewis? Oh, please. Hey, buddy, how you doing? So what do we got today? Two dimes on the Sixers. You like them that much? <laughs> nah, I'm happy to have a shot at getting my money back. Hey, what was the double? You see this? It's not a fashion accessory. I'm talking to someone. Hey, Bennett, open the door. Gotta go. Billy PD! Oh, man. That's a $500 door. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Sergeant Washington. I'll be your police officer this morning. Election time already? I'm a public servant. I can't be bored. Looks like your ceiling is, uh, expecting. Hey, somebody's playing us both. I, I swear those things were planted. Yeah, watch your head. No way, it's intentional. Tossing it across the room? By accident? He does it in his sleep, Michael. Middle of the night, goodbye retainer. I don't know. Trust me, I laid into him about it. The look on his face was totally clueless. I think we got it. Hey, Grizz, turn the water on. He's not doing it on purpose, Mike. Okay. All set. That poor kid. He must really hate it. Well, at least he can remove it whenever he wants. Yeah, as opposed to the ones I had when I was a kid. When I smiled, I looked like the grill in a 68 Buick. <laughs> Lovely. You two are whooping it up while I'm left down in the basement. Oh, sorry, Chris. Uh, thanks. Hello? Hey. Nothing, nothing. What's up? Uh, I'll be outside. No, look, Rory, it doesn't work. We, we agreed. You know what? I, I gotta go. Him? Yeah. You ready, okay? Fine. Fine. Which is better, fine or peachy? You deserve better. You mean like you, Mike? No, 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 no. Better. Way better. Dispatch, repeat the address. 774 Walnut. Fair's waiting outside. He asked specifically for you. Lucky me. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Okay, not so lucky. Hit me! I can use the money. Hey, hey. Yellow's not your color, Olshansky. You look better in blue. Where are we headed, Nunez? I got a matter to discuss with you. Better be a destination. One of my clients got busted this morning. Gun. I don't know that street. My guy was framed. Truth, his name's Nick Bennett, neighborhood bookmaker. And that's it, that's all he does. Just takes book. Ask anybody about him, he's a sweet guy. Mm. I'm sure he never misses his mother's birthday. He's being framed, Mike. Framed? What, do you think I'm driving this because I'm undercover? Talk to a real cop. Your ex-partner was the arresting officer. He blew me off like I was looking to borrow money. Marcellus is a wise man. Yeah, well, how wise do you have to be to see that whoever tipped him planted those guns? If I can prove that, your boy's open to lawsuits. Oh, give me a break. Not even the OJ jury would buy an indignant bookie claiming a setup. Why would a bookie with a profitable low-risk business jeopardize that for an obvious high-risk big jail time gamble? Exactly. Patricia Bennett, Nick's wife. His wife. Hardly a character reference. I don't blame you for being skeptical. All right, if I were sitting where you were, I would be too, but my husband wouldn't go near a gun. And we know this because? He had one once. Nick thought he'd got it hidden real nice, but uh, kids can find anything you don't want them to. Oh, listen, miss. Hey, it's my dime. Our six-year-old son found it. Accidentally shot himself. His name was Paul. Nick swore that he would never touch another gun again, and I believe that he lived up to that. Well, I'm sorry about your son. Thank you. But I only told you so you'd understand I'm not just some mafia wife standing beside her man. Nick needs your help. I need your help. Water main fixed. Couch is yours again. Any change I drop, you can keep. Heard about the Bennett bust. Bookie with a weapon stash. That's definitely a collar with a cherry on top. Shotguns, tech nines. Not the tools of the bookmaking trade. With this economy, everyone diversifies. So who tipped you? <laughs> no tip, I'm a smart cop. Talking the street, Ben, it was set up. Is that any business of yours, what the talk on the street is? Well, somebody ought to listen. What's that supposed to mean? You got something to say, say it. Okay, Ben is a criminal. We nailed him. Score one for the good guys. Criminal? Oh, I don't see you pinching your bookie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then uh, nice police work, Sarge. I mean, anyone else, they might have been just looking for bet and slips. I mean, that is why you were there, wasn't it? Look, the ceiling was sagging down so low, I, a midget might have hit his head. Gun dealer, stores a stash where anyone walking in might see. Unbelievable. Smart. And lucky.
I love it up here. Top dog. And Logan Circle, City Hall, over there, the Basilica. Mike, I'm not a tourist. How's oh, Shannon? Sorry? Through the city, over 23rd, right on race, down the river. Almost lost you. The tail lights out. Shanna tipped you to the guns, didn't he? You seem to be the one with all the answers, you tell me. Dipping into a drug till, that's one thing. But working for Shannon. Come on, Mike, I don't need a lecture. Cuffing a man you know is innocent. There's no coming back from that, Marcel. Nice chatting with you. Not that I should care, but you'll lose everything. And I mean everything, Marcel. Hey, enjoy the view. Deborah, Ashton, everything that matters. You're giving me family advice? Who better? Answer me, who better? Even the guys from South Philly acknowledge that. Guy wants 10% of my earnings plus 100 grand in back taxes for what? Does he have no claim? If he had a legitimate claim, I would pay him with a smile. But Shannon, Shannon can kiss my ass. I mean, who the hell does he think he is? It's okay. We're okay. You gotta calm down. <laughs> I am looking at 10 to 15 for a trumped up weapons charge. Drugs and guns, I don't touch. Especially guns. Nick, I gotta ask. Were they yours? I know what happened to your son, but I still gotta ask. Now you gotta look me in the eye and answer me. Were they yours? No. Because I'm not putting my ass on the line. I don't hurt people. If they get it over their heads, I eat it. I take the loss. Huh? Someone don't pay me, I say, shame on you. You don't get to bet with me no more. You get shut off. Go find yourself another sucker. And that's all I do. I sponsor a local Little League, for God's sakes. The guns were not mine. Okay. Maybe I can help. They sent bail. Tomorrow. Good. What? My wife. What about her? These people, they're a new breed. I wouldn't put anything past them. Suddenly I'm a helpless princess who needs to be holed up in a tower, huh? So I'll get to New York by Nick an angry postcard. I'm his wife. I should be here with him. I mean, what if something happens? I should... A million guys in this town. You couldn't find one who doesn't break the law for a living? What? Dentist, lawyer, some Wall Street guy? Hey, you marry a dentist, your odds are lower that your husband's body doesn't get dragged out of the school case. Sundays I used to take my grandmother out, right? To the movies, to the park. She lived in a nursing home, so our outings were a really big deal. And in three years, I didn't miss a single Sunday. I'm dating Nick about three months when I come down with this nasty flu. Ugh. I felt terrible. And anyway, that Sunday, Nick had tickets for the Eagles against Dallas. So what do you think he did? He spent the afternoon with Grandma. On his own, didn't even have to ask him. Right then and there, I knew he was a keeper. What'd they do? They went to see Pretty Woman. Oh. What were you about a prostitute? Big with a grandmother, I understand. She could hardly hear. Anyway, he took her for uh, ice cream afterwards. Yeah. Grandma talked about that afternoon till the day she died. So he's a bookie with a heart of gold. Do I wish he did something different for a living? 
Yeah, I do. But moments like that afternoon. Attention, please. Train number 47, express service to New York and Boston. Arriving at track six. Enjoy your trip. So, so he tells me he lost his retainer. Actually, he didn't lose it. He threw it out with his lunch. Seals holding. So I meet him there after school. Uh -huh. the pressure looks okay. Are you listening to me? Yeah, hey, you met Mike after school. Yeah, and we search every trash can in the cafeteria, and the retainer's not there. How much is this going to cost me? Oh, you have no faith in me, do you? Oh, you found it? In the dumpster behind the school. And then I throw it out. Why? Because it was sitting in a puddle of chocolate milk, tuna, and God knows what else. No way he's putting that in his mouth. Well, back to my original question. How much? About 150 bucks. Oh. I'll write you a check. Don't worry about it. You'll get it next time. What? Nothing. Tell me. Pipes are okay. Thank you. Have dinner with me. Mike. No strings, just dinner. It's not a good idea. Why? Because it'll confuse things. Between you and me? Or you and Rory? Me and Rory. Or maybe we can do coffee sometime. Okay, I found it. Okay. Let's fight again. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. Put this over your hand. Okay. You got an arm you can throw? You got a stick. Ow. Babe, you didn't dry out. Come on. Stick Ow. your arm in this one. Stick. Hey, Deb, would you get that? What is that? Baby, stop squirming around. Just put it on. Just put your arm through it. Deb, would you get that? Ow. Put just put. Ah! the door right could you get that honey have mommy put your top on okay okay daddy here take this take that yeah. Bennett's getting out tomorrow not here I want you to put some more pressure stay on. away from my house I'm thinking maybe another search did you hear what I just said perhaps a fire at his establishment you come near my family again now what what are you gonna do to me big guy or should I say, what can you do to me? What, you think you own me? You think I don't? Take care of Bennett, or Deborah and I have a little talk. Search warrant, open up. Okay, time's up. Take the door. <laughs> Duty upstairs. I get out of here.
This is my house. Okay. Uh, let him in. I thought you were in jail. I broke out. What? What did you do to my house? Executing a warrant. Here's your copy. You destroy my house? Is that legal? If you don't let me pass, I will arrest you for obstruction. There's nothing here. Let's go. I particularly like the, um, the, um, the chorus part. Oh, that's my favorite part, too. When do you think we'll be hearing? I do have several more players to audition, so, um, maybe a week. All right. Bye. Bye. Are you here to audition? She's my competition. Yeah. <laughs> what brings you here so bright and early? I thought you might want to grab a beer. You shaved. Yeah. You look good. Clean. I went back to talk to Heather. I'm guessing it wasn't to talk the disposal. We're gonna go, uh, go out for coffee. I see. Since when is grabbing coffee a bad thing? True. Chris, it's just coffee. Well, as a priest, I'm, I'm all for husband and wife reconciling. But? No buts. But it's not okay for me. I'm just saying, maybe coffee should just be coffee. It is just coffee. To Heather. Since when are you, Dr. Love? Oh, Alyssa Gilmore. 11th grade. I know everything you do, friend. You were with Alyssa? Sorry. Yeah. Koshansky, your ex-partner just trashed my house. Cop went through my wife's underwear. Did you ever do that when you were a cop? I did some things. There is nothing illegal in this house. Nothing. search. That wasn't a search. That was Shannon. That was you doing Shannon's bidding. You done? Because Ashton's waiting for his bike. Oh. Well, you don't care about your own life. That's fine. But don't bring down a guy like Bennett, because you don't have the guts to stand up to Shannon. Come on, Mike. Save it for one of your fears. How long have you been in bed with him? Don't go there. Whatever he's paying you, it's not worth it. He's not paying me. What's he giving you? Nothing. Then walk. I can't. A few months. A few months ago, someone be in Edith's club. I took the call, couldn't find the doers, but the guy took a liking to me. A few weeks later, oh, well, hell, this ain't none of your business. Yeah, this ain't anything like all the free advice you're always giving me. He calls me. He wants to court me. So I'd accept an offer to Moonlight as a sort of bodyguard. All off the books, of course. Was this before or after you laid into me about being his driver? You want me to close this door? So he plays me. Oh, like I'm a 15-year-old schoolgirl. Uh, laid on the charm, treated me right, did everything but buy me a corsage. Before you know it, we're tighter than cap teeth. Where have I heard this story before? You never heard this story before. Oh, I still haven't. Yeah, for your own good, you're not gonna. For my own good? Yeah. Uh -huh. You think I'm some dumb perp that you can con with that? I'm doing this for you, right? Hey, believe what you want. All you need to know is that Shannon's got me in a vice, and until I figure a way out... Well, what about Bennett's out? Because of you, a completely innocent man is looking at serious jail time. And what, you think I'm happy about that? I don't care if you're happy. 
Whatever wrong we did, we didn't hurt innocent people. That's one line we didn't cross. This is not about me or about losing my job. This is about my family, and I'm not going to lose my family. What did you do? I'm not losing my family. What are you doing here, Olshansky? Where is he, Shannon? He's busy. Bennett gives you nothing. You get nothing. Bupkis. Nada. Niente. Here, I thought you were coming back to work for me. You hear what I said? Come on. What do you care about this mope? I care about him, and I care about his wife. Anyone lays a finger on Bennett, you. Only you pay the price. I'm coming straight for you. You. I was wrong. I thought you were a gentleman. You should have sat down with him and talked about this a long time ago. I have a right to some of that action. Yeah, you want to move on a guy. You ask him for a sit-down, a face-to-face, -face, like a gentleman. So how's work going? It's a little rough. Things have been kind of crazy lately. Lately? When haven't they been? When we were together. When? In the beginning. When I was pregnant, you were working undercover, and I never knew if you'd finish a shift alive or dead. Before that. Oh, when I was on the night shift, and we were at the academy, and we never got to see each other. Why do you have to focus on a negative? I don't know. I didn't used to. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'd bring it out of you. Probably. Oh. <laughs> so it's all my fault. Of course. Certainly couldn't be anything wrong with me. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, I save them for special occasions. They're more impressive that way. Yeah, they are. I meant it when I said you deserved better. Yeah, well, I did. If there's any way I could take it back, you know, the things I did, I know I let you down. I let both of you down. Yeah, you did. Still, you know, everyone makes a bad call once in a while. Once in a while. I could have lived with once in a while. Michael, what you did, why you got fired, that was the end, not the beginning. What, is this the after coffee beat up Mike time? I don't have to beat you up. Nothing I could come up with could come close to the punishment you're still putting yourself through. But you have to know. The reason we're not together is because it got to the point where you were like one of those horses with blinkers on. You couldn't see what was going on around you. Everything else, everyone else, was just a distraction. That's what I became to you, Mike. That's what we became to you. Distraction. And annoyance. It's not true. Yes, it is. And I appreciate you reaching out now. But I'm still raw, Mike, and I... You have to appreciate that. Where are you going? I'm going to go back to work. 
This is fun. Mike. I'm sorry. No, you're not. And you shouldn't be. Shannon wants to sit down tonight, 8 o'clock, at the club. You got it? What, are you waiting for a tip? What is with him? All I ever did was try to help the guy. He doesn't like to be helped. He's like my kid. He'd rather trip and fall on his face than have someone tie his shoes for him. Forget about him. What can he do to you? He's a thorn in my side. And his own worst enemy. He's got zero credibility with the police. He can barely afford gas for that damn cab, let alone grease anyone with enough to cause you any headaches. I already have a headache. Yeah, we're well, taking aspirin. Why don't you take me back to my car? After the sit down. Well, what the hell do you want me there for? It only makes things more difficult. Maybe for you, not for me. You're too kind. Yes, I am. You know how this goes. Arms up. Just stay calm. Let me do the talking. You can put your hand up his ass? Make his mouth move? No. But if you're into that sort of thing, I know a place. No cover charge. Relax. He's just breaking them. They're clean. No weapons, no wires. What's he doing here? Was I supposed to RSVP? Was he gonna have you uh, sweep up after we're done as well? We all do what we gotta do. I don't know if I want him here. Yeah, don't let the doorknob hit you in the ass. Look, if you two wanna be alone. All right, come on, let's do it. First of all, the gun charge goes away. This looked like a courtroom? The charges go away. He can make them appear, he can make them disappear. 5%. Plus 50 grand to make up for any past misunderstandings. What? And that's it. But all his personal crap aside, from now on it's just business. There's never been anything personal about this. If there were, he'd be in a hospital room right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the great and powerful Oz. We don't know what. 5% is a non-starter. You want more? For what? You're lucky I'm even here. Nick. No, this is wrong. Why should I? I'm making it possible for you to make dime one. <laughs> this guy, he's insane. He thinks he's Al Capone. Nick, will you shut your mouth? No, I'm not going to give this empty suit a dime. I don't give something for nothing. That's exactly what's going on here. I say we call this bluff. He's a poser, a wannabe. Where's his papers? Spoken like the stupid amateur you are. I'm an amateur? I'm an amateur? I cleared 900 large last year. How much did you make, you punk? <laughs> Boys, please. I'm a punk? All right, talking's over. Let's go. You take your tribute and shove it. Oh, so you're a tough guy now. Tougher than you, you fake. Just keep talking. You want to shoot me? Go ahead. Will you shut up? Do it! 
pick up a gun and shoot me. This is not going to happen with me here. I know you. I know all about you and Frankie Z and Danny Irish and every other real man who won't pay. All talk and no action. Oh, you want to see some action? Jack, come on, man. Bring it. Bring it. You. Not them. Back down, Chris. Well, you think they took care of Roy Dalton? <sighs> oh, like I'm supposed to think you did? Roy Dalton would have eaten you for breakfast. Not after I took out his teeth when I shoved the 38 down his throat. He was choking so bad, he practically thanked me for putting one in his head. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he says he was in Dealey Plaza. I'll give you 50,000 plus 10%. What are you doing? It's over. Bull! It is over! Done. Now, let's go. Here's Crystal. Compliments to the angry white man. Well done. Not after I took out his teeth when I shoved the 38 down his throat. He was choking so bad, he practically thanked me for putting one in his head. You got something on me? I got something on you. Never hold up in court. Court? No. This goes to Dalton's brother. You remember Liam Dalton? Dead a nickel for taking a guy's eye out of a parking space. Loved his brother like, no, like a brother. What do you want? Cut Marcellus loose. Bennett goes free and clear. And that tape never sees the light of day. What do you get? What I usually get. Nothing. What? Probably gonna have to watch her back for a few years. On top of that, you didn't even get a day's pay. Some people might call you a sucker. And you? A friend. I gotta go. This is way too weird for me. Relax, man. I wasn't gonna kiss you. Give my love to Deborah. Yeah, this is a little chance. Give me some place to go. 